Hello students. Today we are going to learn environmental studies lesson number two. So many kinds of the animals. Before that, students, I would like to share one thing with you. Today, while morning walk, I saw a slug. It was walking very slowly. After some time, I saw ants. These were smaller than slug, but they were running quickly than the slug. Then I came across cow and dog and cat. It was a pleasant morning to me. I hope you also have seen such kind of animals. Let me show you some pictures. Can you guess them? Tell me who is sitting on the chair? Yes, you are correct. It's a cat. Let's see. Which is next picture? Yes, there is a buffalo and peacock in this picture. There are two groups of animals. First is wild animals. That means we live in jungle. So here is a picture of jungle. And here are some animals which are living in jungle. Could you find out which are these animals? Yes, there is a lion, the king of jungle. And there is a monkey. But who is that animal having tall neck and spots on its body? Oh, it's giraffe. And there we can see a crocodile in water and elephant too. These all animals are living in jungle. So we call them as a wild animal. Second group is of domestic or our dearest pet animals. Do you have your pet animal? I hope some of you must have pets at your house. Some may have cat, dog, goats, chickens or cow. We keep these animals with us at our house. We take care of these animals like our family member. These animals are also useful to us. These are called as pet or domestic animals. Today, these animals are going to tell us talk with us and they are going to tell us about them. Let's see what they are telling us. Oh, they have started with question only. They are asking, where can you find us? Okay. So, which are these animals? Okay, we can see an eagle cow and fish and these animals are asking us where can you find us students could you tell them yes an eagle flies in the sky a cow walks on the ground and fish swim in the water in the next picture there is an egret, buffalo and the peacock. What do you find students? Yes, these animals are different in colors. So these animals are telling us that we are different colors. The egret is a white, the crow is a black, the buffalo too is black. But the peacock has many different colors. Now, here is an elephant, cat, squirrel, ant in this picture. Now, what do you find students? Yes, you are correct. Elephant is big and ant is a tiny. Squirrel is a small 
and cat is also small. Means these animals are trying to tell us that we may be big, we may be small. The horse and the bullock are large in size. The goat and the dog are of medium size. The mouse and the squirrel are small. The earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still. Gnats and ants are very tiny indeed. It means that students we can identify animals by their shape. Or size. This animal may be small, this may be big, or this may be tiny. Students, do you remember the story of hare and tortoise? I know you still remember the story. Now, tell me how was tortoise running and how was the hare running? Yes. Tortoise was not able to run fast. It was walking slowly and here was running fast by hopping and jumping. Now let's start running race between an elephant and horse. What do you think? Who will win? Of course, horse will win the race. Because elephant is having bulky body. Bulky means heavy. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at any great speed. But horse is having thin legs. It runs very fast. Here it means we can identify animals by their movement also. So, these animals are trying to tell us, you can identify us by our movement also. So, square is a square is a small animal. It is nimble. It climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly, runs along its branch. The elephant's body is bulky. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at any great speed. The deer has thin legs. It runs very fast. A frog's thin legs are long. So it can easily hop, jump and leap. So students, let's revise that what we have learned today. So we have learned today to identify animals by their shape, by their movements and by their living place and by their movements. Okay. So students, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now we will meet again for the rest of the lesson in next video. Till then, keep smiling and stay safe.